Night, a shooting in Covina overnight left two women dead and a toddler wounded, and police ended up taking a parolee into custody. Yeah, John Finolio is live. He's at the scene there. He's got the latest on this investigation. John? Well, good evening, everyone. The police tape has come down, and investigators have wrapped up their work tonight all day. They've been inside of, inside of this home where two women were found shot and killed overnight. Tonight, a man with a lengthy criminal record is in custody. However, police are not calling him a suspect, but rather a person of interest. It's terrible. It's unbelievable. That's how neighbors are describing what happened at this Covina home on the 700 block of Sinaloa Drive, where two women were shot and killed and a toddler was reportedly wounded overnight. Police say this man, 36 year old Lucas Fick, knocked on a neighbor's door shortly after midnight. With him, a wounded two year old boy. Officers later said the child had been shot in the back. Investigators say Fick told the neighbor that, quote, something bad had happened and to call police. The neighbor who called 911 did not want to speak on camera, but did tell KTLA that Fick appeared nervous at the time. The neighbor also said the toddler did not appear to have any injuries. When officers arrived, they found the bodies of two women with gunshot wounds. They say the wounded toddler was rushed to the hospital. Fick was taken into custody. Another area resident says he was known to the neighborhood. The person that arrested the whole neighborhood is afraid of. Candace Edwards says when detectives began asking about the people who lived at Fick's home. It's his mother and it's his girlfriend. She feared for the worst, but worried most about the little boy. Way awful and very sad, especially after you see the, the, the little boy was just priceless. Edward says the last time she saw the young boy and his mother was on Valentine's Day, a moment captured on her home security camera. And he saw me and ran up to me with the flower and said happy Valentine's Day and reached out his arms and gave me a big hug. Now, police did also did not want to speak on camera. However, they issued a press release saying that Fick was arrested for essentially violating the terms of his parole by being a felon in possession of a firearm. They say he's due to appear in court on Wednesday. As for that toddler, police say that he underwent surgery and is expected to recover. Reporting live in Covina, I'm John Finolio, and I'll send it back to you guys. All right, John, we thank you for that.